Good day, creative spirits, and welcome. We'll start our session today with him from More Voices, number one. Let us build a house. Tim, which will be still in more voices, um, <clears throat> number 145, Draw the Circle Wide. I just want to make note that we today at Creative Spirit are celebrating um, this coming Sunday, which is March the 14th, and certainly amongst uh, the science crowd and the math crowd and, um, that, and those that just happen to know March the 14th, 3.14, is Pi Day, but not just any Pi Day. Across Canada, uh, we are celebrating Pi Day, P-I-E Day, Pi Day, public, intentional, explicit. And, and this is a celebration of inclusivity. And so why Pi? The lovely acronym PI stands for Public, Intentional, and Explicit. Those are the standards we hold ourselves and are welcome to when we become affirming, welcoming, or inclusive communities. On National PI Day, 
we are invited to serve up some pie and roll out the pie online in our ministries and communities. And so that's exactly what we're trying to do today. This is our chance to celebrate and honor the full inclusion of LGBTQ2SIA plus people in faith communities and beyond with everyone across Canada. So for that, I would like to go and now sing Draw the Circle Wide from 145 in More Voices. I'm going to share a video with you from the United Church of Canada's moderator, the Right Reverend Richard Bott, about Pi Day. The third annual National Affirming Pi Day is coming up March 14th. Why Pi? P-I-E. Public, Intentional, Explicit. Those three words are a way to remember how we want to be faithful people and communities who are actively welcoming and affirming to the Two-Spirit and LGBTQ communities. This year's Pi Day theme is, what's in your pie? Well, my affirming pie would have a cup of story sharing, two cups of careful listening, a tablespoon of hope, at least one handful of wonder, and just enough salt from the tears of remembering and celebration to make it real. Then I'd top it by the fruits of the Spirit and bake everything in the sweet, sweet crust of God's grace. What ingredients would you use? What kind of affirming recipes have fed your faith community? And what ingredients do you hope to bring together and cook up in the next year? In this case, it's recommended to have a lot of cooks in the kitchen. 
find the other people who are interested in baking this pie and plan to get your church or community group together this year in online events. How about a, a workshop, a, a concert, movie night, open mic, a virtual bake-off, or anything you can imagine. It's okay to start off with a bite-sized piece. My experience is that it'll lead to more. As for me, I'll be baking up something special too by challenging myself to learn something new, because that's a piece of being affirming too. Check out my recipe by visiting the link below. It's for tarte au sucre, one of my favorite Christmas memories. Alongside of that, I think I'm going to do some reading. There's a theologian named Lynn Marie Tonstad who has some questions about the ideas of radical inclusion and how it fits with intersectionality that have me scratching my head. This is going to be fun. Now, that may not be your thing, but I'd invite you to join with me in adding another new ingredient, small or large, to your affirming pie in the coming year. And join me in celebrating Pie Day with United Churches across the country. We thank Reverend Bott for that fabulous message today. And so let's just take a moment in prayer before we begin our spiritual practice of creating some pie in a bit of a different way here at Creative Spirit today. Let us pray. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For your reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. Supplies for today's pie making are not flour and sugar and pie crusts and, and uh, berries and all those other yummy things. Sorry. <laughs> um, I would love to be able to share pie with, one of, you know, with each and every one of you today, but that is not the kind of um, pie that we will be sharing literally. Uh, the kind of pie that we will be creating today is on paper. And so if you have a sheet of eight and a half by 11 um, cardstock or regular copy paper, or, or if you don't want to do it on eight and a half by 11 and just want to cut down your copy paper to um, a square size, that's fine. Pencil and eraser, um, your standard fine and ultra fine black Sharpies. I'm just doing this in pencil crayon and, or sorry, colored pencils. <laughs> and magic markers um so just standard sharpie multi multiple colors with my uh pack of pencil crayons and um and then i i threw in a couple extra things i had some glitter uh glue that i added a little extra sparkle to and i also had some um little iridescent gold paint with a super fine a nib on it that I just went around the uh, edge of the oops, the edge of the the pie shell um, with just to I give it a little something and and then a pair of scissors um, and this pair of scissors happens to be sort of the scalloped edged um, craft scissors 
And that's about it. And anything else that you might have at home, um, if you've got glitter at home, or if you've got like a sequiny kind of things, or if there's beads somewhere, if you want to put ribbon, or this is creating how whatever kind of pie. And remember, this is a celebration pie, right? This is a pie filled of all the goodness and and an affirming inclusivity that you can. So all things can go in this pie that you are um, to celebrate with. So feel free, whatever you have at home that you want to might add to your pie creation today. All right, we'll get to it. Here's the up, sort of up close um, version then of pie day that I did. Um, it's all pretty straightforward, right? Um, create a pie. Um, you had the email that I sent an example that had some um, easy drawing techniques for creating a slice of pie, if you would rather. Um, and they had two examples of, of drawing a or of, of um, sort of clip art pies. And, um, and so I just drew one, you know, based on one of those, those clip art pieces. And then um, including much like the logo uh, that you saw through um, the video, at least I'm pretty sure that they included it in the video. Um, if not, you can, um, you can check it out online and I'll leave all of the links um, to National Pie Day um, in, the, in the video. Um, but I just, you know, included the colors of the rainbow. Um, and it's easier to if you make notes somewhere um, or put your markers in the order or whatever uh, so that you've got them easy to, to um, work with. And then I included the, the ingredients at the bottom. Now, this was my own personal, right? I added some glitter. I think you can probably see it. Let's see if it just catches the, the light there on camera. And then uh, around the pie crust, I had a gold, um, this painting, super fine tip um, tube of paint that you can easily line with. So I did that. Um, whatever you happen to have at home, sequins, glitter, um, ribbon. I think I mentioned those things earlier, like anything, right? Celebration, um, vibrant life, vitality. Um, aliveness hello um, so any of those things um, but I want you somewhere at least to incorporate definitely the the colors of the the pride flag and the rainbow um, and then of course uh, you'll notice if you can see it on on camera that here I'll get rid of my board here for a second and that may help um, that there's a, a scalloped edge along the the side and with my the craft scissors um, that for some reason, and not that I ever spent a lot of time at diners, but pie and a cup of coffee seem fairly iconic, whoops, fairly iconic of, um, diners, right? And so to me, when I think of a diner, then I always, of course, think of that paper placemat with the scalloped edge. And so that was sort of a throwback to that, um, Create it however you want, right? I gave you in your email, you've got um, some of the clip art, again, of the, the pies and, and how to draw a slice of pie. You can use those. If you, if, if this just, if the concept of a pie and you, and you give it, I want everybody to at least give it a try, but if drawing a pie is something that is becoming uh, more frustrating for you than it is fun, then I don't want, I certainly don't want um, you to be frustrated by it. Then perhaps just create your piece of paper, turn it into a, a big, huge recipe card, right? You could add some, get a ruler, um, take a pencil or take a, your black fine marker or even a ballpoint pen um, and create some lines, right? Like the recipe card and that, that one red line across the top. If you're using ballpoint pen, just make sure that it's good and dry before you um, run your ruler over it or anything else again so that it doesn't smear. And then in multicolors, or maybe you wanna make the lines in your, in your rainbow colors then um, uh, when you do your recipe card and make your affirming pie 
recipe, right? Think of the ingredients that would go into it or think of ingredients that you know you need to, um, when areas that you need to grow more in, those could be the ingredients of your pie. And have fun with it, but at the same time know that it is, um, that it is real, that this is not just a, hey, let's make a pie and all this is fun and all it's all quirky and cute and, and um, glitterly and colorful. And it, it, it is colorful and it is a celebration, but at the same time, it is recognizing how far we have to go yet in order to make sure that all people are included in, your, um, in our places of worship, in our communities, that um, that the LGBTQ2SIA plus communities are not um, treated as equals in all aspects of the community, and um, and some of them absolutely are struggling, and some have not been embraced by their own community or by their families or friends, and that some of them actually live in fear for their lives because of. Um, of who they are because of who their authentic self is. And so it is not just uh, a cute and fun thing. It's something that I want you to hold deep within prayer um, to God. And if you know individuals, if you want to include those individuals' names on your pie or on your recipe card somewhere, that's fine. Um, and if, um, and if you would rather, instead of listing your ingredients, perhaps the words, uh, just the words that you want to include as part of the ingredients, then because they are within the pie, if you maybe if you wanted to make, you know, your pie crust, the edge of your pie crust uh, wider, then you could include those words as part of it or just include them, you know, um, across the top or around the outside, however you want to do it. Um, but know that that um, that this is uh, something that we can all um, agree that we need more work on. So pray on it, and but enjoy the process. And um, happy Pi Day! Uh, we'll recenter ourselves before you get to creating your pies in prayer. And so I want you to put your feet as flat as you can on the on the floor and your back up as straight as possible so that you can get a good deep breath in. And on that first deep breath in, I want you to breathe in the love of God. And then breathe that enveloping love back out into the world. And then breathe in God's love. and send the love back out into the world. And one more time, breathe in the love of God and send that love back out into the world. And together we say, Creator God, quiet my mind before it passes judgment on this prayer my gift of time to you. Amen. I hope you enjoy this process of a bit of a, a different baking process today, this, this process of, pardon me, of creating a pie. So you don't have to worry about what your baking skills are like. And you know, as, as we say here at Creative Spirit, you don't have to worry about what your, your drawing skills are because it is about that process of creating. And while we are creating today, we are keeping in prayer um, the individuals of the LGBTQ2SIA plus communities. And while you're, um, as, as the uh, Right Reverend Richard Bott had said in his video, you know, the theme this year is what's in your pie? So think about what it is that the ingredients of your pie, the the ways perhaps that you have been making um, your community a safer, more welcoming um, and inclusive space. Those are your ingredients, those things. And if there are things that perhaps that the ingredients that we um, haven't added yet, 
um, what ingredients do you need to grow more and perhaps list those ingredients and again you can list them if you would if you're not a hundred percent sure um, and at this point just really want to hold individuals that you know who are um, struggling who are not uh, who do not feel um, included who do not who are not welcomed in places within our community um, that are truly fearing for um, perhaps even their lives then um, hold those individuals in prayer and perhaps if you want to include their names um, in your pie as part of your ingredients then then that would be lovely as well so please enjoy um, share your pie um, and and as well as perhaps having some quiet music like we normally do with our prayer practice that um, if you want to run out and if you're not into baking and want to have a pie with a, perhaps a cup of tea or coffee with you as well while you do this then that would be lovely make it a celebration it is a God's celebration of life of all people so enjoy this and we'll see you next week.